Today we will be changing the oil on a Ford Explorer 2021 with a 2.3 four-cylinder motor and it's time for an oil change at approximately 39,000 miles. One of the first things we have to do is remove this underbody panel here. You don't have to remove the belly pan in the front that's attached to the bumper. You just need to remove this fabric one here towards the middle. The screw sizes from the underbody panel are seven millimeter screws. You'll have some circle clips you have to remove. You can use a fishbone pry tool like this or that. And then you'll have two of these square clips to remove. The drain plug size is a 15 millimeter. The next step is to remove the drain plug and the oil filter. First, we will remove the oil filter using an oil filter removal wrench. Nothing special. It shouldn't take much to remove it. If it takes a lot of force, it's probably because they over tightened it, but it's coming off. You shouldn't have to do too much force. I couldn't remove this by hand because whatever dealership did this oil change last has it a little tight and it shouldn't take this much effort. All right. slowly and that way you let it dribble down let the oil out and then you don't make a mess everywhere There we go, oil filters removed. Next, we will reinstall the brand new, not reinstall, we will install the brand new oil filter with an original Ford Motorcraft oil filter. Here's the part number in case anyone's curious to the OEM filter. And it's very important, as with any oil change on any car, you lubricate the ring at the bottom with some oil, run some oil, on your finger and lubricate the bottom of that ring so it doesn't possibly seize on when you remove it the next time. Now that we have our new oil filter nice and lubricated around the O-ring at the bottom, it is time to reinstall it. And as with any oil filter, whether it's cartridge style or, or this style here where it's already in a metal housing, don't over tighten it. You don't have to be Hercules. All you gotta do is tighten it by hand. Nothing complicated. Never need to over tighten it. Kinda like earlier when I was removing it and it was nice and tight. No need for that. Just hand tighten. If you over tighten it, you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get it off. All right. 
nice and tight. Next, we will drain the oil. I already broke free the bolt a little bit. Again, whoever, I'm changing this oil from mother-in-law and whatever dealership did the oil change, does the oil changes, tighten this thing down like Hercules, so I had to fight with it a little bit off the camera, but so now that we broke free that bolt, just do it nice and slow. Good. nice and slow so you don't make a mess everywhere. I thought a little oil is going to kill anyone. Just trying to prevent making a mess everywhere, so I'm doing a slow steady one here let the oil drain out for a nice minute or two let all the oil come out And once you get down to a nice, steady, slow drip like that, we can go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. Always reinstall the drain plug by hand on any car. You don't want to use power tools. You can risk stripping out the drain plug and the oil pan more importantly. Just tighten it by hand as much as possible. And then get your ratchet, which once again, let's clean this up a little. Which once again is a 15 millimeter, millimeter socket. And no need to go Hercules on it. Just hand tight. You don't want to strip it out. And then just to make yourself feel a little better if you want. It's good when you're pulling on it and it's like that, it's good. No need to tighten it anymore. Now this vehicle with the two point, this 2021 Ford Explorer with the 2.3 four cylinder EcoBoost engine calls for five calls for 5.2 quarts of oil in the 2.3 motor in a 2021 Ford Explorer is what this bad boy calls for. Do it nice and slow so we don't possibly make a mess here. And if you're trying to keep your Ford engine running a long time, especially the four-cylinder Ford motors, it's in your best interest um, to change it every 5,000 miles. And if you are curious which oil I'm using, I'm using Castrol Synthetic Blend. Castrol's the maker of Ford Motorcraft oil. 
um, whether it's synthetic blend or full synthetic, they're the makers, the manufacturers of Ford Motorcraft oil. So Castrol, any, any good quality oil is fine, but I stuck with Castrol since they're the makers of Ford Motorcraft oil. Now that we got all the underbody panels back on, or the underbody panel back on with all the screws and clips in it, we're going to get the car off the ramps. You can use jack stands, however you prefer, but I just like using ramps. I'm gonna take this off the ramps now and check the oil. And now that we got our car or SUV, I keep calling our car SUV off ramps, we want to check the oil level. Wipe it clean, and this goes for any car, even though some of the tips may vary. Wipe it clean. Stick it back in, pull it out. Let's double check. And make sure here that you don't go about above that second dot. That's the max fill level. And now our 2021 Ford Explorer is good to go for another 5,000 miles. And guys, if you want that Ford Explorer to last, if you have that 2.3 motor in any Ford, but just talking about the Ford Explorer, change that oil every 5,000 miles. Don't go doing 10,000 mile oil changes on it. That's a death sentence for these. Change it every 5,000 miles, y'all. Um, basic maintenance goes a long way. But there you have it. And if you have any other questions about changing the oil on your Ford Explorer from, I think it's 2020 to current, um, just leave a comment below. Thank you.